Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. I'm James David and in today's video, I'm going to talk about this particular climbing creeping plant commonly known as a satin photos. Here, I'm more focused on how to grow them using recycle recycling feature where I'm using a plastic water bottle as a medium for this plant growth. So sit back and enjoy the show. Just a little introduction, Syndapsus, commonly known as Satin Photos, is a tropical plant native around the South East Asia region. It does have some similar characteristics like any other aeroids, especially such as Photos, Philodendron and Monstera. Unlike any other climbing plants, this particular one, Satin Photo, seems to be a little bit more on the sensitive side. So I'm just going to talk a little bit more on how to care for them. So the first thing here, I would like to talk about the materials that I'm actually using. This is the most important materials that I'm using. This is a recycled plastic bottle that I intend to do. And I've actually cut a window kind of a shape on this. Normally, I'll just use uh, scissors and then just cut through it and actually it works fine. And after that, I also made some holes at the bottom for drainage. If you don't want to use, you can also do that. But uh, for my case, because uh, due to uh, what you call a rot problem, I, I suggest to have drainage holes on this particular plant. These are the uh, materials that I use for the potting medium. It's, uh, coconut husk together with coconut, uh, cotton fiber. Normally, I do find all this coconut husk around my housing area and I trim them into cubes uh, on my own and find that chips sold here in the garden nurseries seems to be very limited and expensive. Another favorite material that I actually use a lot is panem moss. I find that uh, satin photos seems to be really like this particular material in their growth factor another thing that you can also use is styrofoam uh, what i can what i'll do is i just uh, chip them off in small portions and also use them because i find that uh, they are very good as a drainage material these are secondary materials that I use, the I uh, sand, charcoal and also cocoa peat. I find that uh, just using the cocoa chips and uh, moss can be very dry, hence uh, putting a little bit of this material make it be more moist. So these are the materials that I'm currently going to use and you can see here I've actually unpotted my satin photo. I find that the roots have taken a strong bound on the cotton fiber at the beneath with the cocoa chips. And so this is what I have done. The video is very self-explanatory. As you can see, I'm just uh, placing all of them at the bottom and layering it up with coconut chips like over here. And a little bit of uh, sand and charcoal and and cocoa peat just to give a little bit of body so that uh, it will not be so dry and it able to stay moist uh, when it's wet. I must say that this is the materials that I use because these are the things that I actually have in my hands. You can actually use the aroid mix or whatever that you actually have. It's not necessarily that this is uh, the exhaustive limited resources. There are so many other uh, materials that you can actually use. So finally, I'm actually uh, layering it up with spanner moss and I find that spanner moss seems to be able to absorb a, a, a very good amount of water on it and keep the uh, stem and the root ball a bit more moist and that actually helps the plant to be more uh, stable and able to grow much strongly. So this is uh, what I managed to put. I just roll the plant in and uh, it appears to be just nice for this particular setup. I was contemplating of trimming it much more smaller and treat it as an individual plant, but due to space constraint, I just want to have one particular plant in a single pot. So basically this is the idea of it. You're using this recycled bottle. 
I also find that uh, the cotton fiber seems to be able to hold everything back and also I tie with this particular uh, string and it actually helps a lot to stay uh, keeping all the materials inside without falling apart. So these are the few different types of satin photos that I managed to collect and uh, keeping them and tying them up in this kind of uh, container kind of base seems to keep the moisture and the plant a bit more stable. Look over here if you notice the leaf appears to be a little bit more stressed up and damaged is due to the fact that the root ball have actually separated from the uh, potting media and what happened is the potting media was not actually receiving enough moisture and water in it and the whole thing actually dried up so it was actually very much on emergency mode so if i did not attend to this immediately the, the leaves may tend to be come more rolled up and dry off and eventually the whole plant would have been withering and it may not die away immediately because i have been watering it on a daily basis but it will actually show some very bad sign this is another type this is not a satin but this is more on the photos family this is very much known as uh, enjoy and i find that this particular one seems to uh, like in this kind of setup there's two ways about it i can actually keep it upright or i can keep it diagonally downwards so in a way it's quite how do you say versatile in, in, in any arrangement this is a different type of another satin photos and i find that commonly there's this particular two types the darker version and the lighter version known as exotica which i shown earlier are uh, this particular one so these are the two basic common satin photos that is actually sold and available in most nurseries so uh, in a way how do you say it's they are a very slow growing plant can be very finicky and a lot of mistakes has been done where people actually grow them using in a potting media just a normal ordinary soil so they they do require uh, what do you call this uh, aeroid mix or something that i've actually shown earlier more on a coconut chips and the kind of stuff like that because uh, these are tree drilling plants and may not do so well as uh, uh, normal soil garden plants i have seen some gardeners actually use totem or what you call this uh, a moss pole or coconut fiber pole and tie them up uh, one of the thing about satin photos is that their leaves do not tend to grow very big i think this as as big as it gets so they may not show any uh, uh, venestation or any holes on the leaf and so it will not be a little bit of a waste on that so uh, i would consider growing them as a compact plants and if you are like me having space problem so try your best to maximize the availability of space that you have so what I've done here is that I've actually tied them up against my gate and you can have a look at it that it's actually on the fence and uh, they're doing so well and fine. So in a way what I say is that uh, it they are actually uh, a crawling climbing plant so they may not do so well. Uh, I mean, I mean, of course you can actually grow them in a normal potting media in a soil kind of stuff like that but uh, the effectiveness or the efficiency of growing them in, in their appearance and their natural light is in this condition. So once they are set you will know that they are actually very stable if you start to see that the leaves are actually perked up and keeping the, uh, the medium moist and not soaking wet and eventually in, in, a, in a month's time that you actually see new growth will appear and, and actually that plant is considered very stable. So basically this is the end of my video this is what i actually wanted to show to you you can actually use this for another types of other aroid plants climbing plants such as a philodendron and photos and so forth it, this is one of the easiest way to actually handle them anyway if you have any questions do put them in a comment below and i'll try my best my ability to answer them and if you can please do click like and subscribe my channel and i really appreciate if you can do so thank you and see you in my next video happy gardening thank you bye